so hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join us on the banks of Micklewrights Flash on a beautiful Sunday morning and we're going to be fishing the waggler and the method feeder for hopefully Bream and if we get lucky Mr Carp. It's a beautiful quiet morning on the bank, not a breath of wind and really nice awesome morning to be on the bank. So that's the first proper sign of activity of the morning, which is good to see that the carp are awake. Just preparing the method feeder as you can see on screen now, just nice simple tactics. We're looking at the side tray, we've got a selection of baits, we've got some micro pellets for the method feeder, some loose pellets, got some maggots left over from the river, Cheshire particle hemp, and we've got some sweet corn. Looking at the swim, how we're going to attack it, just going to be feeding the waggler line round about here in the shadow of that tree. Just nice comfortable casting distance and I'm going to be feeding that with corn, hemp and maggot. And the plan is to feed the method feeder just into that dark water out there about halfway. But while I've been sat here, there's been quite a bit of activity around that reed bed to my left. So what I'm going to do to start off with, I'm going to keep feeding this line here and I'm going to have the first cast just around this area where I've seen the activity. On here, in previous videos, there has been a lot of bubbling when the fish have turned up. So that's what I'll be looking out for on that area there. I'm going to be looking for any signs of bubbling over that hemp and that corn to give me an indication that any fish have turned up. There's a lot of small stuff over the top of it at the moment, but that's what I'm looking for. It's a lovely morning to be on the bank. So let's keep feeding that swim and have the first cast of the day just down there. So I'm gonna give this first cast probably about 20 minutes just on the one cast. On that line there, I'm just looking for an opportunistic bite really. I've seen fish in the area, just looking to see if we can pick one up. And while we're waiting on that, I'm just gonna keep feeding that waggler line out there. Just a little bit of hemp and a bit of corn. Just keep that bit of bait going in. The tip pulled round. I did think it was Mr Bream because there were just lots of taps but into the first fish of the day which is the target species there's plenty of activity over that spot out there but I'm going to try and leave that as long as possible you know just to develop but great to get the first bite of the day nice bend in the rod and see if we can get him in. Nice little fish just to start the day and yeah definitely worth exploring that left hand spot a bit more I think so we'll have another cast down there and keep feeding that waggler line. So just putting three or four pellets every now and again just over that inside line really just to make a bit of noise and maybe build a bit of an area there's definitely a lot of activity around it So I had the skimmer down the inside that's come off halfway in and then just had a chuck over that far bank because I've seen a bit of activity and I think we just got the, another one of these bream I think, yep, just a little pull on the tip and there's certainly a few of these in the water. And great fun just fishing the waggler for silvers. A bite of chuck at the moment with either a small skimmer and that one, one of them small roach. Mr. Pike swirling out there every now and again, so I do wonder how long it's going to be before one of them gets snaffled. But 
He seems to be keeping off me at the moment. Moving over to the float and getting loads of them little small little skimmers. You know, small roach. I think I underestimated just how many of them are in the water. Mr. Pike's been rampaging through them. So we'll move back over to the feeder, just cast into that far bank. And it's gone round again with another bream. A carp did jump about <laughs> 20 seconds before the tip went round. I did think it could have been Mr. Carp, but almost certainly could have been Mr. Bream. And that line there on the waggler, the pike that are striking on that now, every single time I put maggots in, Mr. Pike comes through and there's about two or three of them that keep coming through so maybe we'll have to come back here at some point with the pike rods but from now on I'm just going to concentrate on that far bank line and the margin to me left I think and if we get a few of them in the swim we'll have a very good day's fishing <laughs> And despite the carp not really showing today, it's been great fun catching these bream. You can see there's another one on the feeder in immaculate condition and great fun. And I've lost count now just how many of these skimmers that we've had today. It's been really enjoyable. Just have a little change of peg, hoping that we could pick up Mr. Carp in this area because it's an area where we've had them before on the opposite bank. But still, Mr. Skimmer seems to be following us. And it has been a day today of skimmers <laughs> everywhere we've gone. They've just followed us round. And again, the tip's gone round with another one. And it's been a good workout for the rod. I didn't think it would have cast all the way over, to be honest with you, when I first started. You know, I thought it would have struggled, but it's managing to get over that far side. And that's probably the best bream of the day. And there's one or two of those bream now out there. It's taken probably two minutes for the tip to go around again. These are the quality of the bream that I was hoping was going to settle on that waggler line, which obviously Mr. Pike put pay to. During the session, it's just been great to get some bites off these skimmers and good to end on a bit of a high with a few better quality ones let's get this one straight back get the rod back out there it's not as big this one as the other two but more than welcome just a little pull round on the tip and we've had a few pound of them today haven't we we're time running out we won't keep him out too long and we'll get him straight back definitely as we're coming towards the end of the session some better quality Green moving in. That's a definitely a better one as well. Not something that I do that often really, you know, fishing for bream and that. But it's been great fun today. You know, it's a pity that float swim was so it's a miss, you know, with them really small fish and the pike rampaging through. But in this last hour just moving here, we've had some real quality bream just casting over that far side we've got probably 30 minutes of the session left so hopefully we can get out there again and pick up another and the only thing today that hasn't really happened is that tip going round with a carp but you know some days you just can't pick and choose what takes the bait 
and especially when you get a shoal of bream obviously they can eat the bait you're putting out but it's been a welcome change we do a lot of carp fishing on the channel and it's been good fun and if keep nets were allowed today we'd have had a few pound in that final net it has been an enjoyable day's fishing